Kem Hey, from the voice So I around here say so you're from the streets From the streets From the streets Hey guys, welcome to another episode of From the Streets, brought to you by Live MB Music. I'm your host Slim, and this week we're here chilling in Papine Square, asking you what's the number one lie both men and women tell in a relationship. Check. You know, say my man gonna tell me one lie. Gonna tell me three, four, five, six lie. But I'm here pinpoint which one of my life. Like tell me, say, my up a gun town, I'm gonna leave work yet. Which means we'll work done from five o'clock. And, um, and in, you come home till uh, nine o'clock. Come back again, you tell me, say, you know me and my brother them up the side drink. I'll sit with Nile out. Because apparently, you know, every time I drink it, brethren, me not drink it, sister Nile while. Somebody tells me, I'm a sister, they want me to have a meet a man like me. So they lie with me, take me, tell him, tell me the same lie. Yeah, so them single. And I'm a friend, I'm a classmate. You know? Yeah, you normally you know the street you see a woman with a friend, with a man. I'm a friend, you know. Me and my friend from school days. You know, you know. Yeah? <laughs> I you know say a lie and shit. But you just work with the thing until you reach up there, you know. You understand? <laughs> okay, one of the number one lie is telling you too soon that he loves you. Yeah, car alright. My view on it is, you see her all text. Everybody should have text. I'm a friend. Everybody is here with her friend. No, oh, sir, that's a lie. One of the number one lies is, baby, are you alone, my have? The biggest lie is that she was a virgin. I'm a virgin. That she doesn't like me. That she have a man. I'm not a woman. That's the first thing I approach her with. Them always single. I don't know why. So they're not a no man, man. I'm a rat in there. I'm a big room, number one lie. I want you to get rid of them back. I'm a cousin of that. I'm a brother of that. I them love you. That's a lie. That's the biggest lie. Alright guys, so you've heard the views of the people. Some of them were a little petty lies. Some of them were big lies. I'll leave you to be the judge of that. I'm going to continue chilling right here in Papine Square while you check out these videos. Time Unit Music. Time Unit. Tell her send me sad. You know. Rain is falling. I'm in the mood. Oh, I just met. Girl, you give me good love. I never know about love. When I'm in your arms, I feel I'm in heaven. Girl, you give me good love. I never know about love. I 
I am still far. No one near them, no No link, no bar. Cause I know. And slowly fade away ah. And I know Dr. I can wash with soap The meditation we supply through ah. And they shall slowly fade away ah. Well I'm an answer to me no brumming Not for them now go like that show in your way Bad man stuck in a day made like a tomb man. Them fake like tree stripe Pan a night made by Puma Them devil lip and I smell the lip and Puma Start go you not to them I say you got a phone Get your visa you fly out Them a pay for you drop out them Sit down like I can lay pie in And you back out them Say them are your friend But them heart warm and both your men say Well don't see I can't sweep with bro Good or never They are like the trees we can't blow Good or never They shall show you And they don't know for them a come a act like Them a you bird all them good for fit back bite Watch them kill it pretty soon them a go Go show them colors like a stamp light Them colors down a brass fight Them a so dirty man fi scour with a scotch bright Them need a whole reservoir a jelly water fi wash off them out That could do only that no bad pan at the standpoint Why no? Dirty a can sweep with fruit Good or never? They are like the trees we can blow Good or never? They shall show you Hey, my son, I'm going to representing and I represent you from the street where that dirt or concrete. If you want to see the music of the week, just take a sneak peek to from the street. Bang! Welcome back. I am here with Mr. Mike Marsh, the managing director of YardTicket.com. Mr. Marsh, thank you so much for taking the time out. Thank you very much for coming with us this understand. week. Thank you. Alrighty, Mr. Marsh. So, what is Yard Ticket about? Well, YardTicket.com is basically a platform where patrons can purchase their event tickets online with their credit card. So the convenience is there for them to just remotely stay anywhere they are. And once there is internet access, they just log on to the website, select the event they would like to attend, and then complete the payment process with their credit card, and then that's it basically in a nutshell. Okay, wonderful. Uh, how long have you been in business and what other services do you provide? Well, um, by extension, I've been, I've been exposed to business for about, about 10 years now. Um, my good friend Ronald Stevenson and Damien Harris, they are the current um, directors of virtualmaljamaica.com. They were the first to really introduce me to entrepreneurship. And then, uh, again, by extension, we launched the Articket.com three years ago. So, um, yeah, so in terms of on my own, in terms of as an entrepreneur, three years, but in terms of being exposed, about 10 years. Not only do we sell event tickets online, but we also promote and advertise the event for the promoter. So they're getting a full package. So other than selling tickets, we also do social media marketing and, and promoting. And we also do advertising by, by way of um, email blasts that we, have, that we have called In Touch Email Marketing. Um, since we launched the website, we've had over 50,000 email subscribers. So we usually just blast the event to those subscribers, just advising that this event is coming up or if there's an early bird for the event or if there's any special like the promoter is having for the event, we can just blast it and all of that is basically free of cost until we start charging of course. Alrighty, um, what kind of events do you promote and sell tickets for? Um, we sell for a wide variety of events, you know, we do from the all-inclusives to the festivals to the stage shows, the concerts. We even got gospel sometimes and um, last year we, we kind of went outside and we kind of um, diversified and we started dipping into the theatre market and the sporting market. So for the theatre we, um, we did Taboo which was um, written by Kieran King if I'm correct and we also did um, Jamaica Junior Theatre's um, Nestle Rock that was January of this year and we also did um, Patrick Brown, Tori Kane Honeymoon. So, 
like I said, we, we do party, but we also dibble into the other aspects of entertainment as well. Okay, uh, you had described it briefly earlier, but what is the typical process of both selling and buying on your tickets? Okay, selling, uh, the promoter just communicates with us and we do we review the we, we, we give them a contract they sign it and then they provide all the relevant information for the event the flyer a full description for the event sometimes we might take the information from the facebook event page and place it to the website so in terms of buying now uh once we once we've completed uploading the event and activated it the patron now visits the website and see which event they want to attend they will click on it select the ticket quantity in terms of how many they need and then they complete the policy with the credit card. Okay. What happens is that once the payment is successful, they receive what we call an e-ticket and that e-ticket is what you actually use to claim your ticket at the gate. Some events that we've catered in the past, they have set up like a hub prior to the event so we use that hub for persons to reconcile and collect their tickets out but okay. for the majority of it, it's done at the gate and very the patron then presents an ID as well at the gate. So they present the ID and the e receipt, and then we do a reconciliation at the gate. And then once everything is verified and authenticated, then the patron is given access to the event. Wonderful. Um, what are some of the advantages from both a seller's and buyer's point of view when using yardticket.com? Okay, so from a buyer's perspective, um, that immediate cash that they would have probably used to buy the ticket, they can actually use it for something else or they can use it on the day of the event. Because as you know, with the credit card, you pay now, you, you buy now and you pay later. So that's, that's one of the convenience. And it's hassle-free, the fact that you don't have to join the traffic, you don't have to go in a bus, you can just remotely stay on your laptop, your mobile phone, smartphone, or your desktop computer, and you can buy tickets online. By the promoter side now, it, it, it decreases the risk of fraud and also theft mm -hmm. and um, funds is, is easily accessible and basically the data that we provide to them is sufficient enough to basically um, see where the, where, where, where the event is at in terms of sales and in terms of the spike in terms of sales they can actually say okay um, the spike was contributed to this ad that we do so because we don't because sometimes we send like a weekly report to the promoters so advising them of what the sales is like leading up to the event and then now, like i said access to funds is easy um once the event has passed we wire transfer the funds to the preferred um, bank account of the, of the promoter or we cut them a check wonderful what are your plans to expand the services that yardticket.com provides to patrons? In terms of expanding, what we are doing right now in terms of the patron, we are catering for those who don't have a credit card because we realize that yeah, not everybody possesses one. So we are actually in communication you now with our paymaster. We have actually sealed it up to be honest. So if you're going to absent New Year's Eve, this, this New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. you can just go, your ticket absent, and whatever the amount is on the receipt, that's what you pay at Paymaster. And then that receipt that you get from Paymaster, you bring it at a gate, and then you can claim your ticket. So what are some of the events that are coming up for this Christmas season and New Year's? Well, this season, it's, it's hectic. It's, it's, it's a global affair, to be honest. Uh, we have events from all inclusive to concerts. Right now, we're running some early birds for Rebel Salute 2016. We're also running early birds for White Diamond. We're running early birds for uh, Absinthe New Year's Eve. And we're also doing an event called Daybreak 
There is also um, ultraviolet New Year's Eve. There is electric butterfly music festival. I mean, those events I'm forgetting, promoters, I'm very sorry. But just visit the website yardticket.com and you, you, you have a wide range of events you can select from. Um, like I said, from all inclusives right on to regular stage shows. And we are also looking to um, activate online sales for the EDM festival called Paradise Lost, which is slated for uh, the, the spring break in March of 2016. So you can look out for that as well. Plus, we will be having one or two promotions and giveaways for some of these events this Christmas. All right, last but not least, how can we contact yardticket.com? All right, in terms of um, contacting us, you can call me, Mike Marsh, uh, 336 SURF or 336-7873. Our physical location is at 90B Redders Road, shop number 8. Our email address is contact at yardticket.com and you can find us on Facebook, Instagram and also YouTube. But, um, Instagram is the active one and also Facebook, so you can just look for Yardticket through those social medias or you can give me a call and we can talk business. Thank you so much Mr. Marsh for taking the time out to stop by and have this interview with us today. It was my pleasure, it was my pleasure. And big shout out to the Promise Street crew, hard working team. And remember, for all your tickets online, just go to yardticket.com, search, click, buy. This is Mike Marsh from the street. Okay guys, that's all the time we have for this week. We'd like to say a big thank you to Mr. Mike Marsh, the Managing Director over at Yardticket.com. We'd also like to say a big thank you to our main sponsor, Live MB Music. Please be sure to follow us on all social media websites and big thank you to all those who continue to support us. Until next time, I'm your host Slim. Walk good.